This video will be, is a demonstration of abstract landscape painting. First of all I'm applying ink and I've just uh, dropped it uh, onto the into my sketchbook and swirling it around with a colour shaper, mixing those colours together and once that's dry I'm now putting in a sort of a film of high flow uh, acrylic uh, paint with uh, the airbrush medium. And now I'm coming in with some shapes and some using my stencils and just using a soft light colour. Um, I just want to get some sharp edges that will be a good contrast with the sort of soft inky liquid sort of marks that I've already got. Using a pencil now I'm just drawing really loosely over the whole thing, over the top of the uh, light paint and now I'm coming in with thicker paint and I'm bringing that onto the page with the colour shaper. I'm doing this quite loosely by just letting the colour shaper drag the paint around really. In some parts it's thick, other parts it's thin. And now with this comb I'm just uh, creating some, some lines through the thicker paint. And here you can see a detail where you can see the layers are gradually building up and I'm keeping that um, pinky colour because I really like that with the, with the green so I'm just sort of letting that still show through. Now I'm drawing through with some orange and I'm using a paintbrush, a thinnish um, fine tip paintbrush with um, orange paint. Using the same colour I'm now dragging some of that uh, orange paint around the place and I'm coming in with the pencil again and this time I'm doing some different sorts of drawing loose drawing sort of coloring in just being the four-year-old I love drawing like a four-year-old and none of it is really very descriptive it's just sort of tracking through the paint um, suggesting something maybe at some point okay now I'm going to try and sort of um, find some shapes by bringing in this light color and this is, um, I want to create some edges here, some thick and thin paint and just bring in that um, soft edges, let it mix a little bit with the wet paint that's underneath and just adding in those sort of films of paint. Doing the same with the green here. So putting it on quite thickly and then coming in with um, a colour shaper, I will spread it around um, I'll push it around, I'll leave some parts of it thick, some parts of it thin and um, just sort of move it over the painting so that it acts in some places a little bit like a glaze and in other places it stays thick. Now I'm finding my horizon. So here I am coming in with some pale blue, grey sort of colour and I'm just very loosely making a sky at the top. Now with this black um, I'm just making marks on here and I'm going to push that paint around a little bit um, and that will just create some strong contrasts. With a tiny brush I'm now drawing um, with some paint again and I'm suggesting uh, fences, uh, roads, you know, just anything really. Just bringing in little suggestive drawings and uh, and just sort of keeping everything really loose and gradually this sort of starts to become looking like a little bit like a landscape but it's really loose and that's what I like here so that it's a suggestion of a landscape but you can't quite you know nothing's too hard and fast it's just all suggestive and coming in with a paint um, pen just bringing in some yellow lines there and pushing around this black, making the black um, thick and thin just like I've done with the other paint. Coming in with a line again, drawing over the top of it, scratching back through and uh, just creating a, a lovely page of interesting marks and then bringing in with a pastel that sort of pinky uh, colour again with the drawing and there we are.